Uh. We just gonna keep it going and going until I feel completed and happy about it, you know? Uh. Opus of a ghetto boy who grew into a project man Bruce the place, he used to stick his scissors in the sockets Damn, clear the project runway Cause this is where my rocket lands Ain't got no problems, Houston I aka that rocket land Events recent to lit a fire under him like pots and pans Rockets and I up in the sky like helicopter cams and you down there in the traffic jam From here I've seen a bunch of fake shit like avid wrestling fans Came up from the bottom of the eye exam zone Now I'm like the biggest G up in the room Still hard to see me like the truth on TV Or the roof from the sidewalk I don't know, I see Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Keith the Kill, aka the Gameplay Getter. And man, y'all, please excuse me if I sound like bloated or something in this video, man. I just got done eating a whole fucking pizza, bro. This pizza was big as fuck, yo. Y'all need to see this. <laughs> y'all need to see this shit, man. This pizza was big as fuck. I just got done eating this shit. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna bring you guys is an AK-12 chem strike on the map Octane. I, I don't think I did I go on a gun streak in this video or in this gameplay. I don't think I get did. I think I went on like a 27 gun streak or something like that. Nothing too significant. But um the interesting thing about this gameplay is I did go on like a um we did, my team did get a comeback, right? We were down by like 40 points at like with like 2 minutes left in the game. We just clutched the fuck out of that shit. Like honestly, called in my chem strike. We went fucking ham. And the dude messaged me after this game. He was like, "Good one, bro." <laughs> and you fucking killed me. Like, and this dude like is subscribed to me like honestly, like I don't know what what's up with this. Like lately all, all these games I've been getting to, I've been getting chem strikes on subscribers. Or <laughs> I feel really sorry, man, because like when I'm in my zone, like when I'm going for these chem strikes, like I go so fucking try hard. Like no one can kill my ass. Like I'm sound whore, nigga. I'm shooting around corners. It sh it sh shit gets real out here. <laughs> but um, yeah. Today, what I want to talk about is competitive gaming and uh, pretty much my thoughts on UMG Philly. As you guys know, Complexity took it home once again. They've been beasting out here since Black Ops 2. And sadly, Optic lost and um, Big T is retiring. And I think about Optic, it's like they just have to make a transition. Honestly, Scumpy is one of the best pro players I've ever heard of. But Nate Shot, I kind of see why they keep Nate Shot because he's pretty much their brand. Nate Shot gets some sponsorships, views, like, Nate Shot is one of the biggest, um, you know what I'm saying, members of Optic with one of the biggest channels, like, what does he have, like, fucking, he has fucking hella subscribers, but, you know what I'm saying, it's just, they have to make a transition, they need to keep Scompy, they need to pick up another Slayer or something, because, like, honestly, they can't just keep getting swept like this, like, you know what I'm saying? After the event, Optic Nation, I was talking about how they've been practicing and shit like that. And how, like, over over the Christmas break, people had to leave and go home and shit like that. But you got to think about it. All clans went through the same thing. So it's just not Optic who had to face that. All the people have families, you know what I'm saying? But teams like in Complexity, TK, they stuck through that. And um, I think that's just what Optic has to do. Optic has to eventually just come out, play their hardest. And get some old championships on today belt. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Nate Shaw has ever won an event. He did win Kai XP. But other than that, I don't think Nate Shot has won like a big gaming or pro event or anything. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Optic. My favorite team is Team Caliber TK. I've always wanted to be a pub stomper for TK. I just like just think about my name, Keith TK. Will honestly sound great, <laughs> but um, yeah, I want the I've always wanted to join a War Beast division, but sadly, that's probably going to never happen. But I have been talking to my um clan team Razor about getting a competitive clan started or getting a competitive side of our clan started, because honestly, even though I'm just 14 and even though you know what I'm saying I can go to these big events because I'm not even 18 yet, I think. It would be a great experience for me, you know what I'm saying? I think it's something I would really love to do. Like, going to these events and watching these events are so action-packed. And, like, just tell me, if any of you guys want to see, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, me upload any GBs that I do. Because I do a lot of GBs, Clan Wars, and stuff like that. Like, competitive is something I really love doing. It's something where my heart is passionate about. And I do pub stomp, so I'm kind of the best of both worlds, I guess you guys could say. 
But um, yeah, really just let me know. It's like the atmosphere of competitive is so much different than pub stomping. Pub stomping, you go on huge streaks, just uh, annihilate noobs, right? But in competitive, it's so clutch. And like the other day, I was playing dubs with a few of my friends, and um, we were playing uh domination on what was it, strike zone. And me and my friend, we end up coming back by two points and winning the game. I think the score's like 73 to 75 um, in dub. So it's like stuff like that is just so action packed and something I've always loved to do. Like ever since I've been a kid, I've been a real competitive person. No matter what game I play, whether it be fucking Call of Duty, NBA 2K, Madden, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Like I've always wanted to be a competitive player. You know what I'm saying? So just. Just to think about that, like, I honestly want to do that one day. I've, I've, I honestly want to become a competitive player one day. Just to experience that, like, standing in front of a crowd playing video games, like, the shit sounds so hype. Just everyone looking at you and, like, you're the center of attention and stuff like that. Like, it honestly sounds like something I want to do. But you know me, like, I can't wear those little sponsorship, like, little jackets and shit they be wearing with, like, Red Bull and the stuff on it, like, with optic wares and shit like that. I can't be wearing it. I'll probably come up in that jump with some loafers, some Oreo Fives, fucking some Aeropostale niggas, some American Eagle. I'd be swagged down that bitch with a, with a snap back out here. <laughs> but not for real, man. They need to make, like, a, um... They need to get together like a UMG Memphis, a UMG Nashville, MLG Knoxville or something like that. Because if you guys know, I do live in Tennessee and like nobody ever comes here. Like the, the best part about living in Tennessee, anywhere near Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville, stuff like that. It's like the games you get to go to. I stay going to like Memphis Grizzlies games, Tennessee Volunteers games. You know what I'm saying? Although they're not my favorite team in college football. But um, yeah. I always I, I, I want one more thing I have to say. Did y'all see Alabama get smacked by the Sooners? Alabama got smacked by the Sooners and they got smacked by Auburn. Now, honestly, some of y'all some of y'all Alabama fans might leave a dislike on this video, but not for real. I used to love Alabama like I used to love Alabama to the fullest, but when everybody started getting on the bad bandwagon. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. Just like I used to be a fan of LeBron. I've been a fan of LeBron since he was on the Cavaliers. And now everyone is just starting to dick ride him that is not even a true fan of LeBron. So, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that just kind of makes me stray away from sports teams and sports players. And everybody just started getting on the bandwagon and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, just let me... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about UMG Philly? You know what I'm saying? optic tk complexity what do you think about this whole thing you know what i'm saying because honestly i cannot wait till the next competitive event comes I'm, I'm i'm honestly surprised they did umg philly i'm surprised nobody got shot in that bitch <laughs> but um yeah i hope you guys did enjoy today's video like i said it was an ak-12 chem strike on the map octane double chem strike fail and it was like honestly clutch look at this clutch comeback 200 to 191 Oof, me and my teammates, we went in, boy, I'm telling you. But, uh, yeah, let's go for 50 likes on this video if we can do that, guys. But um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace, and I'm out.